Hi guys, today I'm doing a video on Windows 10 Anniversary Edition features. So Microsoft went ahead and updated a bunch of features in their latest update of Windows 10 and some of it to their desktop, some of it to how they do security and updates. So I'm just going to go over some of the features I thought were more interesting, so just keep watching. Right away you can see a change in the Windows Start menu, how they now change the appearance of the Start menu, mainly in the bottom left part where the power, the settings, and the file manager are now appear as smaller icons and frequently used or most used uh, applications fall on the top now. So they kind of rearranged it to be just a little bit more organized and take up less space than it did in the previous version of Windows 10. The first feature we're going to take a look at is has to do with personalizing your desktop and that's changing the color. So we're going to click on the Windows button then settings and this will bring up our other system setting. We click on personalization and then colors. Now under colors, it has an option now to allow for something called a dark mode. So it's an app mode, but dark. So this will go ahead and change your dialog windows to black or very dark, dark gray. So this is a nice um, way to save your eyesight if the bright light irritates your eyes. You can go ahead and select the different colors for your accent um, colors. So if you want a different color background to your start menu or um, accent colors to your dialog box as well so it's not all pure black you can go ahead and work through this and kind of customize it for the colors you personally like again this was one of the most requested features which I also personally like as well so next feature is their updates to their emojis so if you bring up your keyboard on screen keyboard you can go ahead and select now for the wide range of emojis now being offered under the keyboard which is great because Windows 10 Anniversary Edition also implemented a texting feature so you can go ahead and send text messages if you have an Android phone so now you can go ahead and use their new emoji feature under the keyboard the touch keyboard option with the texting option for the Android phone together if you use your calendar feature a lot like I do, then this would be a great feature for you. You could view your daily agenda, or you could select a day of the month to view, right from your taskbar by clicking on the time and date button at the bottom of your taskbar. So if you click on there, and then you can click on the day of the week that you want to view your task. And if you click that little plus symbol, it'll open up your calendar, and then you can go ahead, go straight into your calendar, and add more tasks. This is great for checking your agenda on the go. Since Microsoft is actively pushing updates, they have implemented a way to at least be slightly more respectful of when they push out the updates. And that is allowing you to define active time, when you're at your computer the most, and they will try to respect that and not install updates during that period of time or do any research required by the updates. Now if we go under Windows Settings, Windows Updates, we're going to select um, Change Active Hours. This is going to allow us to define when we are at our computer the most. So I'm going to go ahead and select a time frame. There is a restriction here of 12 hours, so you cannot choose a block of time over 12 hours. So I'm going to roughly choose a morning period to an evening period, so I'm choosing 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Right, that's probably when I'm most active. Honestly, I do work later than that, but just these are my prime hours, so I might be doing something. So I'm going to choose this time frame. So I'm going to save it, and it's going to go ahead and make that modification for me. Next, we're going to change some of the Cortana settings. So this is going to allow us to determine how we use Cortana when the machine is locked. So this is nice if you use um, like a tablet device. This would be a great feature where you can still use the commands, voice commands while your computer is locked. And this is more really for a tablet, I would say. So I'm going to go into Windows Settings. I search for Core. It's going to bring up Cortana Settings. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring the pull-down menu here on the left-hand side. So you can say Lock Screen On, and then let Cortana access my email and my calendar. So I could add events, check, uh, add an email, and to use Cortana's commands while my machine is in the lock state. One of the other additions they have added to Windows 10 Anniversary Edition is a slew of new features in their Edge browser. One of the main things is the ability to now add extensions. If you click the three dots on the top corner, it's the More option. It'll bring down extensions. Now you can click on that, it'll bring down a, a app store with 
Edge browser extensions. So there's Amazon extensions, which I went ahead and added, and OneNote. So there's many extensions you go through, and it will add additional functionality to the Edge browser. It's actually a very nice feature. I actually really like the feature of the OneNote, so it might get me to use the Edge browser more than I already do. The quick start option in the bottom right of the screen now can be more customized. We go under Windows settings and go under system notification and actions. So you could change what icons now appear here. You could enable them or disable them from appearing. So this is nice if you want to customize it. If there's some things you never use, like tablet mode or airplane mode, and you don't want to clean it up. It also has a nice notification menu as well. As you can see a lot of emails, any security updates, any maybe Windows Defender notifications are now listed on that quick action button on the very bottom right of your screen. So again, you can go here and turn off and on the features you need. And once you do that, you go down to your quick options, click on it, and now you can see the changes you have made. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to get updates. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.